All right, guys, what you are supposed to be watching is our 2021 Buck Commander wrap-up video. The problem is I wasn't done hunting when our camera guys decided to put this video out. So I have commandeered our YouTube channel, changed the password, and made a little hunting video of my own. Enjoy. As you can tell, this is not the weather that we've been used to. A crazy change in temperature. Shoot, it, it feels like a full change in season. We got snow coming down, and it went from fishing and golfing weather for the last week overnight to this. But we got a bunch of corn, beans right beside us. And most importantly, a giant. But uh, this is this is his home. Call him Richard. Um, Tombo. I, I didn't check that blind. I probably should have. Tombo could still be in it. From chasing this guy two weeks ago, he told me he wasn't leaving. We're on the hunt for a deer called Richard, and he had a different name at one point is not TV appropriate, and I'll just let you figure out what I'm talking about, because he's a, he's big. Hopefully, services. So Richard spooks and Gage and I had a decision to make. Obviously the wind had shifted, something had happened. Uh, we knew we had another north wind the following night with some good weather. So we decided to pack up as fast as we can and get out of there before, before we do you know, any more damage than we already had. And before we could get out of the blind, deer started piling back in. And next thing I know, I look over and Richard's standing at 30 yards. Dude, he is hammered. Gage, he is smashed, dude. <laughs> oh. Where did he come from? Deer were, sh deer were pouring in from everywhere. Dude, we were getting out. We were leaving. Every Everything packed. My release was packed. Arrows, we were getting out. And we sat here the first couple hours and we were like, man, maybe they're just gonna hunker down all night and not see a thing. Bunch of bucks come out all together. North wind, great. 10 miles an hour right in our face and Richard, that big buck comes out and uh, hey the second he poked his head out right we just get eyes on him 
and one of these young bucks starts blowing over here to our left. Must have had the wind swirl. And so we thought, well, get them tomorrow. We're gonna get out of here. I had everything packed up and I look out and I see one doe, a lone doe trying to come in. Totally threw us off our, our plan of getting out. So I'm watching her and Gage looks out this window back to the east and sees another doe. And within five minutes, there was a dozen deer in the field. Dude, I still, do you know where he came from? I have no, he was at 30 yards when I looked up and saw him. No well, thank you, Lord. I can't imagine him surviving that. Drake, and actually his new wife, Julia, just, uh, showed up to bail us out had no idea that we stuck one but fortunately he's got boots on and a light yeah got my lululemons yeah hey better than nothing that's right so we're gonna go over here and see if we can find the arrow and see what blood looks like um we'll make a call from there i, I don't know if this is going to be a wait until tomorrow thing one thing to consider is how much snowfall we might get that could cover up the blood. So, yeah, let's go see what we're working with. Hey, look at all the blood that the, that the snow's covering up. Yeah, I think we got to come back in the morning much as I hate to say it. You know, we didn't, we didn't hear a crash. Obviously we like the shot, found the arrow, it's covered. Blades deployed, like all that's good. But you're right, if we do jump him bad tonight and he doesn't bleed much and tracks get covered up with snow and yeah there's I mean I can't imagine him surviving until now but I'm pretty confident he's not going to survive the night so I think we gotta let him lay man Well, it's been a long time since I've had to wait overnight uh, to go find a deer. I've been pretty fortunate and I've forgotten uh, that feeling of, of laying in bed wondering, you know, all the stuff going through your head on is he dead, is he alive? And um, I knew that was gonna be a, a long night's sleep. Day two, we are back at the scene of the crime. Gage and I watched the footage over and over and I like it. I mean, it could have been three, four, five inches lower for sure, but we gave him plenty of time. And we're gonna pick back up where we left off, which is only about five or 10 yards into the woods. And I, I, I don't know, my hope is he's piled up 50 yards in there, but we've been on these rodeos before where it's ended up uh, getting the headlamps out. Blood, blood. Yeah, all over this right here. Oh, yeah. Good news, boys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I got eyes on him. Another one of the legends. Big rat. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 
awesome. for coming out. Oh, of course. Me too. Yeah, it was a tough trail. Yeah, yeah, that was a long <laughs> one, wasn't it? Ah. <laughs> uh, you know what I brought in, in hopes of this? <laughs> I brought a little a little kid cigar wow. for my son. <laughs> and this here, ironically, is a Luke Bryan special from Sure Thing Cigars. Luke stole this out of your barn when I was staying up there. So thank you. As a matter of fact, I think I stole a box of them from you. Nothing like a father-son cigar over a monster buck. Mm. Benny, Jordan, and Jacob, the lesson here is if you don't want your YouTube video hijacked, Wait till I'm done hunting before you put out the highlight video. Thank you.